Hey gang, welcome back to another devotional. And today we're looking at our third beatitude, the meek. So before we get started, as always, go to the Lord in prayer and then we'll get started. Oh, Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for this opportunity we share. Lord, as we're studying these beatitudes, we just pray that you continuously bless our hearts and minds and that we take these things seriously to understand these are attitudes taught by Jesus on how to be. Jesus, we thank you for your amazing teachings. We thank you for this revolutionary way of thinking as a person. And Lord, we just absolutely love you. We thank you. We just pray for wisdom as we continue this study in, in the Beatitudes Sermon on the Mount. In Jesus' wonderful holy name we pray. Amen. <clears throat> so, as I said, the third Beatitude, right? We're going to find this in Matthew 5, 5. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Well, let's break this one down together, shall we? First of all, first of all I think it's important to understand what the word meek actually means. Okay, It means to be quiet and gentle and easily imposed on a sub submissive. Now, we're not talking about being taken advantage of. The easily imposed of submissive, we'll get a little bit more into that as we go, but it's more of a godly. It has more to do with God than anything else. When we say meek, we're not talking about someone who is pushed around and taken advantage of, but a person who controls their actions and thoughts, right? For instance, can a meek person become angry? Sure. But it's what you do with that anger. Right? It's you restraining your wrath in obedience to God's will. But the most important thing about being meek is showing willingness, and this is, as I said, goes back up, to submit and work under proper authority, right? To be imposed on or submissive, right? Submit and work under the proper authority, God's authority. So a meek person is gentle and ready to follow God through all things. They're ready for God to teach them. They're ready to be submissive to God so God can train them and teach them in the ways so we can be more like Jesus. Right? So, for they shall inherit the earth. When we are meek, we can be confident God watches out for us, that he will protect our cause. The promise they shall inherit the earth proves that God will not allow his meek ones to end up on the short end of the deal or the short end of the stick. We will not be pushed out of God. Out of, we will not be pushed out for God. He sees us in our daily life and our daily struggles. So, blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are the ones who are submissive to God, but gentle and not easily provoked. In a sort of speak, right? Who are quiet, who don't have to run off at the mouth because someone else ran off at the mouth at them. They just kind of, yeah, sure. You know, they, they show a Jesus attitude. Those are the meek. Happy are those who are submissive to God, who are, are subject to his authority, but at the same time are quiet and slow to anger, right? They're, we know that they're, they, they don't get... They don't have to immediately attack someone because someone attacked them, right? They just, okay, it happens. They forgive and forget and move on, right? So remember, a meek person is gentle and ready to follow God through all things. So blessed are these who, people who are gentle and ready to follow God, for they will inherit the earth. It's talking about where we live today, that we won't be pushed out of this world today, right? Because God sees us and knows who we are and he will keep us where he wants us so i hope this was a blessing to you thank you for staying and sharing another beatitude with me i love you guys and i will see you for the next one thank you for watching as a reminder um click down low and leave a comment if you um if you have any questions or if you just want to leave a message um, make sure to like subscribe and we will see you next time.